We are coming off one of the coldest stretches of weather so far this winter, but somewhat surprisingly, researchers say the snowpack is helping deer ticks that carry Lyme and other diseases to survive. And studies show deer ticks are now showing up in northern and western Maine for the very first time. Even more startling, researchers say ticks only found in warmer climates in other parts of the U.S. are now living through the winter in southern Maine. New Center's Vivian Lee has been looking into this phenomenon, which is somewhat disappointing, if not disturbing. Yes, very much so, Pat and Cindy. Scientists say ticks can now survive in environments in which they would have frozen to death 30 years ago. They believe climate change and the bacteria ticks carry are helping extend their range into remote and colder areas of the state. Researchers are tracking the ticks to better protect the public and their pets from possible infections. It's a bitter cold February day, but that's just the way Chuck Lobelsic and Libby Henderson like it. The vector ecologist and field biologist from Maine Medical Center's Research Institute want to know how deer ticks live through harsh Maine winters. The tiny parasites are in containers called tick traps. Researchers clear snow and make sure the traps are intact. The ticks are disease-free and inside small bottles. They're monitored all winter in different types of conditions. So some of these will actually stay undercover the entire winter. Some bottles are under leaves, others are exposed. So far data show the ticks, which look like poppy seeds, can hibernate in leaf cover. No, the no, snow actually. cover acts as a thick insulating layer and things that are underneath it actually thrive pretty well where there's deep snow cover. And it actually protects it from a lot of real killing frost or cold. No snow cover and a sudden drastic drop in temperatures usually spells doom. But even exposed ticks can survive at a rate as high as 40%. Researchers are also watching Lone Star ticks, which are common in the South. A bite can cause people to develop a red meat allergy and in some cases a reaction to dairy products. These ticks are actually able to survive to some extent up here in our main winters, even though it's on the southern coast. That kind of flies in the face of a lot of the, the traditional data that we know about this. Another concern, ticks are on the move. Cases of Lyme have exploded from 71 in 2000 to 1310 in 2018. Southern Maine is considered the epicenter for Lyme, but cases are being reported in every county in Maine, even in Aroostook County where deer ticks haven't even shown up yet. Where the ticks are shifting, where their optimal range is moving towards, um, it's all very important for, for predicting um, the distribution of the disease. Researchers in Southern Maine are sharing their data with University of Maine graduate student Michelle Volk. Volk is tracking tick migration in northern and down east Maine. It's covered by that mesh to prevent wildlife from getting in. Volk is monitoring traps in Orno, Cutler and Presque Isle. This summer she will collect ticks from sites throughout northern and western Maine and test them for Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. So we know that Lyme is, is sort of spreading northwards, increasing in years, but um, there's really no survey of where the ticks are. The project will also look at deer migration, plant life, and climate change. Research suggests ticks are sensitive to temperature and humidity. Dr. Sean Burkle is an assistant research professor at the University of Maine. He says ticks are moving into colder climates in the state as warm months grow hotter and longer. We anticipate that in the coming decades, probably most of the state will be prime habitat for deer tick. A habitat that includes Jackman, less than an hour from the Canadian border. Researchers last fall discovered a pocket of deer ticks here for the very first time, catching locals off guard. If they're finding that they're in the snowpack and they're surviving a, a four foot snowpack and 20 below zero like it is right now, then uh, that's a little disturbing. Greg Caruso is a master hunting guide and spends every day in the woods at least six months out of the year, but he has yet to find a tick on himself. But recently he has spotted more ticks on moose. And there'll be blood spots all over the place where the moose are pulling the ticks off. I mean, sometimes it's awful. It almost looks like a massacre in the middle of the trail. Crusoe plans to make sure he and his family wear more protective clothing and bug spray. He says his hunting parties, usually from southern New England, always come prepared against ticks. 
Now, scientists will know later this spring what percentage of all the ticks on those traps survive this winter. Now, the data will be used to compile a first ever tick tracking map to let the public know where ticks carrying Lyme disease are located throughout the state. Now, Volk hopes to complete the map sometime next year. And of course, if you'd like more information on these cases, and we have real tracking, the state of Maine does real time tracking of Lyme cases now, oh, wow. so people can check that out. We'll have that, of course, on our website and our social media app. Right. Thanks, Viv. Thank you.